My name is Jeff Kramer. I'm a wildlife photographer here in Tambopata, and I've been here for five years. The Tambopata and the Amazon Rainforest is a really awesome place for wildlife photography. It has a high diversity of animals, so every time you go out into the jungle to take some pictures, you see something new. One of my favorite pictures I took is of butterflies drinking turtle tears. A lot of the animals out here in the Amazon need salt for their diet, so the butterflies land on the turtle's head and drink their tears for the salt content. I also took a really cool photo of a jaguar and he's yawning. I took a photo of a predatory glowworm that's really neat and you can see him in his little hole and he's glowing and you see his scary jaws and stuff like that. That's a cool picture. Putu is a cool picture. It's a cryptic bird that's really camouflaged up against a tree. It's pretty rare and difficult to see. So I use a lot of different equipment for wildlife photography. Lately I've been getting into camera trapping. What camera trapping is, it's where you connect the camera to an infrared beam. Whenever the animals break the infrared beam, the camera automatically takes a picture. So I connect it to like a car battery. It lasts a really long time out of the jungle and it photographs anything that passes by. So last time I left it out there for about a month and we photographed pumas, armadillos, tapirs, peccaries, all sorts of different animals. Even a margai and an ocelot came by. So as a photographer, I get the opportunity to work with a lot of different researchers out here. Especially I work with entomologists. Sometimes when the entomologists find something, I'll go in there and I'll take pictures of what's going on. So far we've found things like the predatory glowworm. You also have a decoy spider and that's a spider that makes a picture of itself in its web. It's really awesome. Another thing that we found is something that we call silk henge or the web tower structure. What that is, that's a circular structure made out of spider silk and in the middle of that there's a tower coming out like a tower of silk. We took some really close-up photos of that and from those photos we determined that it was a type of jumping spider by its eye pattern. And we could see all that even though the spider was only a couple millimeters in total length. Yeah, photography helps a lot in research by being able to get in really close and look at really small microstructures on insects that people can't normally see with the naked eye. And then once we have those photos, we're able to put them out over to the internet and do a lot of science communication and spread the word about all the amazing stuff that's in the Amazon.